day 14, shoulder extensions. Uh, the LA Fitness that I'm at does not have dumbbells at 25 pounds available, so I ended up using some plates here. Um, I think one of the pieces of feedback I got was that I need to drop my hips a little bit there, but um, overall it's pretty good. Uh, trap 3. Um, I've gotten good remarks on this, holding it for five. The one piece of feedback that they gave me was to twist my arms so that the thumbs go up, which I thought was interesting, so I'll have to try that next week. All right, Zotling Curl. This one continues to impress me. I feel like I look really stupid only doing, you know, a 20 pound dumbbell, but you do it for so many sets and you do it so slowly that it does, it does give you a pump, absolutely. You can see there, like just the form degraded in that last set. Notice to the grip on that. Notice how it's really on the inside there. Um, that's what you want. You don't want it in the middle. Uh, side profile view. Really, this is just for me to wear an extra medium shirt so you get a little extra bicep action visually. Um, but in all seriousness, I wanted to be able to take a look at this from the side just to make sure my uh, elbow stayed consistent. Oh, one other thing too is that wrist cock is uh, important in two form as well. Oh, this is so much easier in fast forward. I wish I could do this in real life. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, pure form of stretch. Um, this one, I was told I need to get my hips to the ground on the other side. Um, so what they want me to do is keep my leg at a 90 degree angle and go out. So yeah, check out Knees Over Toes Guy and uh, we'll see you here in the next one.